for the prayer. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for the ability to play this wonderful game of soccer. I pray that you will keep both teams safe from injuries in this game. I also pray that these teams will have good sportsmanship. I thank you for everyone's safe travels here and please grant them safe travels on the way home. I pray both teams will play to the best of their abilities and that they not only play this game for their teams, but let them play it for you. I pray all these things in your son's holy name. Amen. Mustang soccer. Charest will be uh, joining with me in a minute. Uh, he's running a little bit behind right now, but I do see him coming up. So uh, we are going against St. Aloysius. All right, this is, uh, if I do recall, this is the uh, second um, conference game we will have uh, this year. It looks like Shures is coming up. Yes, sir. As we speak. How's it going, buddy? Good, how are you? Yeah, I got Howard up here, too. Yeah. We, got we, got some we got a three map bus booth. No, uh, we're just talking to the box here. Yes, sir. Talking to this right here? Yes, sir. We just stand here to print it up. Like, are we on the air? We are. Hey, this is Sarah Chawl, joined by Seraphim, Little Seraphim, and, uh, little Howard, sir. and Little Howard, Howard Alderman. Uh, and he's brought snacks. That's good. <laughs> Well, uh, welcome to this broadcast, Bill Academy. The Lady uh, Mustangs varsity soccer team is in action today against uh, out of Vicksburg, Mississippi, St. Al. Bill comes off of a nice, impressive three-nothing victory over Starkville. Uh, Howard, what did you think of that performance over in Starkville the other day? I thought it was great. 
Um, I mean, he's like eating food, <laughs> Seraphim. What's going on it here? It took us a while. Has peanuts in his hand. Peanuts <laughs> in took his us hand. a while to adjust. That's true. Well, we did. I do want to tell you this. With you and me broadcasting, yes. we're undefeated. We're undefeated. We're 1-0. Don, you thought about that? Yeah, uh, the Don Brock and I can't say the same, you know? Uh, <laughs> right. But did you know that Don Brock and Paul broadcast a uh, saw a basketball game last year? They they did one game the whole year. They were one and zero. So we beat Leak at the time, uh, like a thirty game winning streak and uh, defending state champion. We beat him at home. That was nice. So well, uh, if we'd probably give them the chairs if they could guarantee. That's right. The victory every game. That's right. That's right. Larkin Camp back in the starting lineup. It looks like as uh, Yasmin Martinez gets the ball over to Addison Skeeter. Wings with a big left foot takes a shot oh, off the side post. Weems with immediate dividends, steals the ball away. Boy, she's pesky. That's why they call her Skeeter. Gets the ball over the top. And number three. Is that uh, Mary? Austin? Yes, yes, Wilkie. And uh, she, yeah, uh, she's number nine on the road and she's number three at home. Go figure that. So uh, it's, a, it's a swish. Seraphim, what have you noticed so far? We got, we got a three man booth. We got to get used to this. What, you, what have you noticed so far? Uh, we've got the ball on our half of the field. Uh, this whole game, yeah. Well, as a start of one minute into the game, yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, as Avery takes a corner kick, all goes oh, to the middle. Oh. Takes a shot. Oh, a little too high there. At least Howard over that the bar. Was, yeah, Avery Howard with a shot right over the bar. Excellent opportunity. By the way, uh, memo to broadcast team: never wear a long sleeve shirt when it's 90 degrees outside. I am sweating like a pig already. Hey, I know why you said that. You want to take it off? I'm gonna take it off right now. <laughs> take it off and get down to the muscles. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, sir. You're the, this this broadcaster here has lost a little weight and uh, is down to 90 pounds. You know, I've lost like 20 something pounds. You didn't even, uh, you know, notice that. I, I didn't. In your I, own, uh, you're still session big. With your, uh, there you are. I am still. Nice big. shot for the shot. outside number 20. Oh. Great shot by Elise Howard. Boy, these Howard girls have had a couple of close ones here, Howard. They have. That was number 20. Ironic that we were talking about you losing 20 pounds of weight, and yeah, there was number 20, at least Howard. So it looks like starting defensively in the back uh, will be um, Larkin Camp on the outside, and we've got uh, Lamb, Macy Lamb, in the middle, as well as Jane Kimmel Buford, and uh, I believe Ali Beck is the fourth defender there. It is, the sun is really out here strong, and uh, it's difficult to. Identifies some numbers from the outside. Wilkie with the ball goes over to Avery Howard. So Avery Howard is off the defensive line for this contest and immediately coming into the middle. Looks like she's playing more oh, of a. Yeah, it was over to Hodo. Hodo to the outside with a big stride. She can try to center it and force corner. a corner kick. So who's the far defender? Uh, far defender is Allie Beck. That does not look like Allie Beck. That is not Allie Beck. Okay, is that number four? It's number four. It's Allie Beck. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, the girl that walked up to Alley, that's who I'm asking. Oh, that is, uh, can't tell. Can't tell. Looks like Elise Howard in the corner. Let's see if we can get some Howard to Howard connection right here. Elise Howard to the right middle, hit. over to a header to the outside. Right. And Martinez tries to get to it. It's going to be Skeeter Weems on the outside. Oh. Centers it oh. off a player's head. No and handball, and you go. Yes. If it's inadvertent, it's not a handball. According to, uh, I like that rule. Really. Yeah. There's Buford. That's Jane Kimball Buford. That's who that was. Jane Kimball Buford in the middle. So basically, we've taken. Oh, the girl the, right there. Oh, that's that's uh, the other team. She's on the other team. Well, she just has a different shirt than She's her team. Different yes. jersey. Yes. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, a little confusing there. Um, so Coach sure. Brock has moved Avery Howard from the defensive line up, sort of a center mid. Avery's got the uh, ability to play both defensively and offensively. And, uh, and, and goalie. And goalie. Oh, yeah. She was a goalie. She could play all positions. Probably the same thing on the basketball court, too. She yep. could play every position. She's kind of like Magic Johnson. Like Magic. That's right. You know, most of the people that are listening to this uh, broadcast are probably don't know who Magic Johnson is. Ball over to Lee's Howard, but the keeper for, wow, the keeper for St. Al times the right is able to pick the ball up. Yeah, Irvin Magic Johnson retired 30 years ago. Hard to believe. We're getting old, Howard. You know, I remember where I was when the announcement was made. I do, too. I was at taking the CPA exam. Wow. Quite a shocking announcement yeah. back in 19, yeah. 30 years ago. I never Man. saw Magic Johnson. And he's Johnson still, play. I guess he's completely, 
like in remission or yes. healed. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure. Yeah, but he's healthy. He's yeah, healthy, healthy as a horse. Yeah. Wilkie with ball over to Martinez. Martinez tries to lay it off, but it's going to be stopped. Ball goes over the top. There's Jane Kimmel Buford chasing I'll tell you what away. I like Jane Kimmel Buford. Physical player. Woo! Physical player. You know Man. what? You need to see her and Izzy Hodges on the tennis court. They play number one doubles for Pillar County's tennis team. They made it to the state, the North State semifinals, as an eighth grader and seventh grader last year. Wow. The future is bright for Pillar Academy tennis with those two. Well, Izzy's mother was a great. Probably still is a great. Tennis She's player. a phenomenal tennis player. She is. Ball goes to the outside over to Elise Howard, one of Hodges' basketball stars. Forces a corner kick. Oh, what's yeah, it called? Be as old as she is. Yeah, offside. As old as she is. Talking about Mignon? Yeah. I didn't go there. I did not go there. Um, yeah, she's a fellow uh, Kruger Chula graduate of yours, correct? That's exactly right. That's right. We'll see how many Kruger Chula references we can have today. Yep. Um, you know, old Dane Sanford's quite a running back for our football team. You know, team. Dane Sanford's father. father's nickname was Bulldozer 2. That's right. Yep. Bulldozer 1 was Rob's daddy. Okay, gotcha. And Bulldozer 3 is Dane Sanford. I see. The Bulldozers. If you ever see that on Facebook, you know what BD3 means. Now. I do now. I, I always wondered about that. The you information, the information you provide, is absolutely amazing. How? Yeah. Uh, ball goes to the outside. We'll have more Kruger Chula references later. So, you know, if we do, we have to mention the great duo of Paul and Lane Lyon. But we've got a whole broadcast for that. Oh yeah. And Seraphine, I'm so sorry. We're not talking about soccer at all, but we'll be back to soccer soon. Yeah. Oh no, this is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah. This is our giving back and forth. When the ball's <laughs> in the middle, kind of going back and forth, we like to have a little fun here. But here's. Uh, Ali Beck with the ball to the outside and forces a turnover. Seraphin, have you scrimmaged before against this girls uh, soccer team? Uh, yes, we have in the summer. It's like a, it's like a tradition now. We just uh, get a team together and just play these uh, Lady Mustangs. When you played against these Lady Mustangs, was there anybody in particular that gave you guys fits, a little physical play or anything like that? Ooh, the Howard Twins, oh, for sure. <laughs> Go figure. Never would have thought the Howard Twins would be referred to as physical. <laughs> On the physicality part, the Howard Twins. Yeah. Well, uh, Avery will just uh, run over you aggressively, inadvertently trying to get a ball. Elise will run over you on purpose. Uh, that's the difference between those two as the ball goes out of bounds. Yes, all I say is just don't make them mad. Don't make them mad. That's right. That's exactly right. right. Do we have any scouting report on St. Al? Uh, don't have any scouting no report on St. Al. We've, uh, we've played them. You know, they've, uh, they've played against us twice a year for the last couple of years. I know two years ago we went to St. Al and had to beat them in overtime. Oh yeah, I, it's yeah. tough. It's tough to play them on artificial turf. You know we are traditionally we don't play many games on turf. That's why I was very impressed with our second half performance the other day when uh, we put on a show in the last twenty minutes and scored three goals against Starkville. Seraphin, uh, uh, you said you, we scrimmaged. Uh, what was it like? I mean, as far as score wise and all that. Ooh. If I'm being honest with you, score-wise, it was uh, I lost count. Oh, you if, lost count. If I'm being the honest. girls, the girls beat you that badly. <laughs> That's right. Let's put it that way. Yes. 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 Ball goes in. It's going to be off of the player. Hodo giving chase. You know, Hodo. it's good for the girls to play that kind of competition. Yes. Yes. It makes them a better team. Hodo forces the ball out of bounds. It'll be Pill Academy ball. Uh, we don't have a scoreboard today. This will be the last time we have this particular camera broadcasting the game. Our other camera and our other mics will be fixed and be ready to go next week, although I don't think we have a game next week. We still do not know when we will be playing that repeat contest versus buy a ball in the middle. Lee Howard loads up, takes a shot. Oh, I thought I saw game. something on that. Oh, have you seen something? I thought so. Maybe uh, we'll have to confirm that. But the yeah. big matchup coming up versus Bio got rained out at home. Bio Academy giving us our first division loss in about 10 years. Uh, opening game of the season, and Pill Academy's Lady Mustangs looking for some revenge and looking to to uh, get first place in the division with a victory over that squad. Looking for some real revenge. That's right. Skeeter Weems, who scored a goal against Bio, forces the ball to the middle, tries to get it over to Hodo, but it led her a little too much. Uh, ball goes over the top. Jane Kimmel with the ball, gets it over to Larkin. Larkin on the outside. Oh, turns it over there, and she's going to go. Oh, nice move by Larkin. She uh, Larkin looks okay. Took a little bit of a hit there. Here comes Addison Weems down the left side. Here she comes down the left side. Weems, she has one motor in us. Just full oh, blast away. Hit. Nice center over the oh, oh, beautiful oh, header by Hodo. And that That's is a, a pretty, pretty yeah. goal. Great shot. You know, 
We love to give credit for a great shot from Hodo. That was but how about that? Look, look at them talking to each other. We zoom in. They're, they're both saying thank you to each other. That was such a slow motion goal. I don't know if you noticed that. Yes. Well, the keeper came out, so all she had to do was get it over the keeper. Yeah. Nice shot. But it looked like it took forever. Yep. So it hit the back of the net. Yep. Slowly um, rolled in. one nothing Pill Academy as Hodo scores the uh, opening about, goal. Rank, going back to that bio, though, I heard, I saw on Facebook where they were having to pay the bio kids. Oh, no, no, we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, hey, hey, look. <laughs> you want to? Go ahead if you want to. But, I mean, I'm like, uh, go ahead. As, as we get ready to go in here, there's going to be a cross over the middle over to Hodo. She takes a yes! shot. Oh. Oh, it's just wide. Right. You know, uh, uh, Hodo almost with a second goal within like 15 seconds. Go ahead, Howard. I was just saying, I, I saw something on social media where they were paying their parents and no. students with like. No, they weren't, they weren't paying. Uh, ice look, cream and. No, 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 that, that's not true. The bio, the no, bio, no. Th those fans show up. And you'll see when they when they come over here to Greenwood, they show up in mass. They don't need to be paid. That was just somebody making a comment there. Uh, somebody making a comment. Yeah. Okay. It was just hot that day and there were popsicles. No, those bio. Oh, I got you. Yeah, the bio fans are classy fans and they show up and they show up in mass. Uh, Howard, I don't know if you recall this, but last year when we played them into the uh, divisional playoffs uh, at, at home in basketball, I mean, they packed our rafters. They Ooh. had the entire, I mean, the, between the pillow fans, the gym, uh, the pill, uh, bio fans, it was over capacity. I'm glad we're expanding that gym by about a 400 person capacity. You know, um, they're, I don't know, one of their best players was like, she may have been a junior, a Clark girl. Yes. Her daddy uh, is my doctor. Okay, good, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you talking about Katie Clark? Maybe, yeah. Katie Clark, yeah, absolutely. He's, and he is a great position. He's so a great she's position. She's a great, I talked to her, you know, at the games. Yeah. Oh, she's a, so nice. As, as good of an athlete as Ooh. Katie Clark is yeah. on the tennis court and the basketball court, she's even better academically and uh, also uh, just a kind person, kind so soul. She's a tennis player. Oh, she's oh, a she's phenomenal tennis player. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, she is. She and my daughter, Dia, had... Um, couple of battles last year Woof, it was uh, action-packed and uh, uh, my daughter was fortunate to come out victory victorious both games but Katie Clark is the real deal That's and, great. Uh, when you're out this there you, her year. Uh, this uh, Katie Clark's gonna be the favorite to uh, probably win the single state championship and uh, their, their their tennis team the girls tennis team is probably the favorite to win their overall state championship uh, they came within half a point of winning it last year really over the middle, Elise Howard has the ball, takes an opportunity, she's going to load up, takes a shot, and ooh, Elise. Uh, I saw Mary Claire kind of shrug on that one. Uh, that was not the shot that uh, no, no, she expected Elise that, to have. Uh, Elise will work on that. Mary Lauren will talk to her after the game. You know, the closer you get to the goalie, the better off you are. Yeah, she should have brought it in there a little bit. Yeah. By the, had a, by the way, we, we just had a Mary Lauren Howard mention. That's another Kruger Chula. Yep. Graduate. The world revolves. One of the better. Yes. What, the world revolves around these Kruger Chula graduates yes. uh, from the uh, 80s and 90s. Yep. yep. Nice give and go from Hodo over to Elise a little too much. You know, Elena and Elise are going to be two of the stars on the basketball team that will be coming and in this sister. year. And Big Sister. And Big Sister, too. Absolutely. And I like the... Uh, um, Fuller? No. Um, Wallace? Wallace. Wallace. Oh, yeah. She's a great athlete. Emma's, Emma, Ella. Ella. Yeah. Emma's the older sister that just graduated. It's so a we're, fun team. Yep. 28 and a half minutes left in the first half. Phil Academy dominating action. Uh, if we can zoom the camera over to a Lauren Hodo, she's kind of just over there going, when am I going to see some action? She might not see some action this game as we... Boy, I'm just shaking this camera big time. I'm about to tear this camera up here. I'm sorry. Remind me not to touch that camera again. <laughs> I almost broke the camera. And it wasn't because it was looking at me. It's because I was handling, mishandling it. So the Lady Mustangs, according to the schedule here, Howard, will be playing Washington School on the, the 5th. I heard that, uh, that, Monday? Yes. that that one was canceled because it was Labor Day. That's what I heard. It is Labor Day. So maybe that one's been canceled. So we'll have to reschedule that one. Got to reschedule that one. And... Um, Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice, uh, nice uh, comment. We'll have to read that in a little bit. Nice comment by one, the one and only Don Brock, who was, took us took a chance to criticize everything that we've talked about for the first. No, I'm kidding. Well, he lost he, his contract. He lost his contract. 
I mean, and it's really been, it's been hard for him. Howard, all joking aside, let's admit it right now. Don Brock is the professor emeritus of Pill Academy oh, live stream broadcasting. No joke. Uh, the glorious days of um, him uh, covering basketball with Paul Lyon. Howard takes a shot from the outside trying to get to Skeeter. He and Paul Lyon were the best at basketball. And, uh, and you know, uh, and when Don did games with you and Don did, did, did games with us, with me, uh, they were special. Well, we made him even look better. Yes. Oh, nice little give and go from Avery over to Skeeter. Skeeter takes a shot. Ooh. Oh, how did that not go in? Don said zoom in a little bit. Don said safe. zoom in a little bit, maybe. Well, can can might, we zoom in? Probably, we, oh, yeah. we can't zoom in. Hey, he probably uh, hasn't got his glasses on. Well, either that or he's got to deal with the fact that we have we have a camera here from like 1991 that we're uh, utilizing. Tell just to listen. He's just, yeah, Don, just listen to the broadcast. Yeah, that's all you li turned it on for anyway. You and the three other viewers that are uh, watching the live stream. You, Paul, and um, Larry Kelly. Larry Kelly, yeah. 411, Larry yeah, Kelly. 411. It's like, here comes Yasmin Martinez with the corner. We've had four different corners. We've had four different people take the corner. Yasmin with a shot, goes over the middle. It's going to be going to the outside. Ball's going to be dropped out for Yasmin. She launches it over the middle. Oh, oh wow. that's pretty. Avery Howard. A little field goal with that Yes. Looks like the one and only Abby Alderman is coming in the contest. Abby comes in for Yasmin. i zooming a little bit. Abby requested these two bars here that I bought. Yeah, Abby. I'm going to start eating some of these peanuts here. Yeah, i got a whole bag. Let me get in the middle, if you don't mind. Because uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat all of Howard's food if I sit next to him. I'm trying to, trying to say on this. So that's the middle where you are now? Uh, no, let me get on the end. Okay. okay. Sorry, English is my second language. Okay. Uh, we've got 25 and a half minutes left in the first half. And uh, at this point, the key is St. Al's trying to figure out when will we be able to get some offense. And Sarah and Simone in the broadcast booth are saying, trying to figure out when will I be able to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Avery like Howard. Avery Edge is jumping. Avery Howard over the middle, takes a shot from the outside. Oh, oh. Stop. It's going to be followed by Abby Alderman. To, oh, oh, Abby tries to get there. Another shot over the middle by Skeeter. Here comes Hodo to the outside. Oh, turns the ball over. Got to follow up. Boy, I'll tell you what, Abby was right there, Howard. Yep. If she, had scored, if she had scored, we'd have called her instant offense because she'd yeah. been in for 30 seconds yeah. and scored a goal. Howard, is it my imagination? Have you been through 100 peanuts since the broadcast started? At least. Mm -hmm. They're good, though. Mm -hmm. Throw well, in by Lee Howard over the middle. It's going to go out of bounds. Administration told me to bring something to eat so I wouldn't be talking so much. <laughs> Oh, hey, what about peanuts? Sarah, can you ever have one of these games when we've really totally dominated offensively and just had the ball on one side of the field the entire time? Any particular games you can remember it being like this for the boys? Ooh. Uh, yes. Well, yes, uh, against Manchester a yeah. couple years ago. Yeah. It was, uh, that was kind of like a one-sided game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How, how's the boys' team looking this year, sir? Ooh, uh, we're looking really, really good, honestly. Um, we only only three three players graduated. Three really good ones, though. Uh, no, three in all. Yeah, but they were all good. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, we had uh, Jeb, Juan Carlos, uh, Carlos, and uh, Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, all right. So I got a question. What's that? Tell me about the young guy that plays for um, Delta Streets. Uh, Daniel Vargas. Daniel How Vargas. How good is he? He's really good. Yeah, I've heard a lot. A lot about it. <coughs> so he's really. Here comes, here comes Hoda on the outside with that big stride. Going over the middle. she got Skeeter Weems on the side. She takes a shot. Oh, off, off the, the post. Board. It's going to be followed Abby. by Abby Alderman. Oh, can't quite get there. Abby Alderman with a shot. Oh. oh. How has Abby not scored yet? <laughs> Man. You know, I like. The shop, I, uh, as we get a water break here, we're going to kind of zoom in on the, well, can't zoom, no, but we, uh, can't. <laughs> we can't zoom, we can't stop talking, it's one of those things, we'll kind of get on the team there. Right here. Uh, seems, Hodo, uh, with, I'm listening to what Mary Claire is saying, Hodo had an opportunity to take a shot, but she had a better chance to cross it over to Weems. I would have liked to see a cross right there. As we're 22 minutes in, 18 minutes in, I'm sorry. And the score is presently one nothing. Bill Academy could easily be three or four nothing here. 
So, uh, well, we're getting the opportunities, and that's what we want. We'll start. Uh, we'll get some of those, like we did. Well, I like those GQ sunglasses you have on. Howard, if you keep on complimenting me about my weight loss and my GQ sunglasses, Gory's going to get jealous. So let's go ahead and we're focus on the soccer game. We're going to have to look. Oh, we got a second. No, no. <laughs> no. Don, look how nice he looks. Got the pin for an Oxford shirt. That's right. That's right. right. Okay. Great. Let's GQ red band. We are going to get what banned from doing the live stream, dude. Come on, let's go. Oh, he looks nice. Let's go. Let's go back over there. Let's go back over there. We're, we're, <laughs> people are going to start canceling us. Ah, uh, here you go, right here. Um, yes, Don did say that. So, uh, into the contest about, at the twenty-minute mark, Pill Academy had they have a five-shot to none lead. And four corner kicks to none lead, and where it counts most, it's one nothing. But uh, I have a feeling that's going to be changing very soon. Great domination. You know, we lost eight senior starters from last year's squad, but it sure doesn't look like uh, we've missed a beat here. The only returning starters we had last from last year's team are the, the Howard girls and uh, also um, Skeeter Weems. Now, Al uh, uh, and, Elena Hodo. And um, Hodo. Allie played a good game. Yeah. Yeah, so we had a lot of players that played a lot, but uh, this is a uh, but these little girls have come in and really like Mary, Mary Austin, yeah. like the Energizer Bunny. Yeah, I think she could play three games in in a row and never yeah. get tired. Defensively, um, strong defense uh, led by Macy Lamb, Larkin Camp, uh, Jane Kimmel, Buford, and Allie Beck. Uh, really strong, impressive defensively. Uh, Wilkie. And uh, uh, Avery Howard moving to the middle of the field. Maybe that's something that, that will be done on a permanent basis by Coach Brock as we move Brock. To, uh, we move Howard to the middle. Look. Offensively, look. You when you have uh, Weems, you've got Hodo, and you've got Howard. I mean, that's just a strong offense there. Macy Lamb. Macy. Look, last, Macy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Macy. Macy Lamb. Last year, I could tell she was going to be a great contributor. She yep. played a good bit last year. Yep. And did did well. I was talking to her mother, Shelby, and uh, Shelby told me something interesting. She got some time to play on the defensive line. She literally spent the entire season picking the brain of Kaylee Harden on how to play defense. And if you're going to pick anybody's brain on how to play defense, yeah. it's Kaylee Harden. Uh, she, she was the real deal, and she's now continued her career at one of the top-ranked community colleges in the state of, in the United States uh, when it comes to girls' soccer. That's Northwest Mississippi Community College. Um, so, and we have um, – Lillian, Lillian Harvey, at yeah. MC, at Holmes. U, at, uh, Holmes Community College. Holmes Community. And She's the captain of the team yeah, as a I freshman. Uh, Lillian, uh, one of the most physical players I've seen, uh, sort of took pride in accumulating fouls and yellow cards. Uh, she, she loved it. <laughs> loved to play physical, intimidated people. Um, what a great group we had back then. You know, I go back, though, uh, the defense we had a couple of years ago that graduated two years ago. Howard, that defensive line of Julia Love Lyon, Madeline Kelly, Caroline Brock, and Kaylee Harden. That was a special defensive line there. As we have a break over the middle, here comes Avery Howard. She just kind of slows down. Might have slowed down a little too much there as the ball goes out. Oh, she forces the uh, thing. Um, she kind of over-dribbled that one. Um, Not used to it? Yeah. She's got to kind of get it. Used to it yeah. Got to get her offensive uh, prowess going, and she's finally getting some chances offensively. So looks like nobody wants to take the corner kick. Looks like Avery Howard will finally be the one that takes it. You know, when Avery takes it from the left side, I always like to watch number twenty, Sister Elise. She'll line up on the right post, and Avery usually launches it over the top, and Avery's there on the other side, just like the goal that won the state championship last year yeah. when Sarah Presley gotcha. launched it over and, yeah. and Elise knew where it was. So watch what happens. I'm predicting a goal right here by Elise got Howard. That covered you in the I am predicting Elise Howard goal as Avery Howard launches the ball. Launches it over the top. It's going to be Elise Howard trying to get it in there. Oh, a little bicycle kick there by Elise. Uh -huh. They call it a high kick on her. I was impressed. Yeah. You called it. Yep. Well, except everything except that she didn't convert it, but hey, it was there. Sort of like a sixth sense that she has there. Comes Skeeter Williams with a quick shot. Nice save by the St. Al Gully. Great save. Great diving save there. Boy, I'll tell you what, that shot from the outside by Kaylee is uh, something special. Not Kaylee, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Skeeter. Wilkie, aggressive, going after it. 
Wilkie jumps over the defender, gets the ball over to Skeeter Weems. Skeeter is going to be questioned. I think they're going to call Hodo on an offside penalty. Offsides. You know, I've always thought the rule was you couldn't be offside unless the ball was played to you. Well. You know? Have you ever heard that? I have. And I'm not sure what it meant. It might have been a foul in the box. Could I'm have not been, sure. Yeah, yeah could have been a foul against us. I wasn't sure if that was offsides. Hill has got a – well, there goes St. Al's offense. is one and done. Comes Larkin Camp. Good to see Larkin getting some good playing action here. Avery Howard to the ball to the outside. She scrambles over the middle. Tries to lead the ball to the outside over to Elise Howard. Elise is able to get to the ball as it goes out. Oh, it's out of bounds on her. Yep. It is hot out here, folks. That's no, okay. Oh, no, I'm Don't fine. eat anything. I'm eating. Howard Alderman offering us food up here in the booth as uh, – we well, get re- yeah, so we get ready to see. Is that Molly Downing? Is that Molly Downing right there? Uh, 14, yes, sir. yes, sir. And of course, that's Dykster House number twenty-three, Mary Lane Dykster House, getting ready to come in. She is the Molly Downing, the daughter of Chase and Crystal Downing. All right, good to see uh, her coming. Dykster there. House, her mother. I've learned a lot about her mother at the last game. Really? She and Patty Campbell are like referees' nightmare. Oh wow! Wow. So we'll have to elaborate more on that if we have <laughs> okay. time. Okay. Okay. And this is uh, the little Beckwith girl, right? 24? Yeah, 24, 24. Riley Coleman. She, oh, Riley Coleman, yeah. yeah, yeah. Weems on the outside, goes down the middle. Nice move, goes down the side, takes a shot from the outside. She's going to launch it. I don't know where that was going to. It's going to go out. So I guess that these two little girls going in at the same time is kind of a coincidence. Yeah. Well, Clark and Camp comes out as well as Addison Skeeter Weems and Abby Alderman. In comes Coleman and Dykstra House and down. Uh, really, that's, some young, that's me. Yes, it oh. is all about developing long term. You want to win it right now, and you also want to develop for the future. But let me tell you something. I haven't seen Downey play that much, but you know she started a couple games. Yeah, Coleman and uh, Dykstra House in that last game against Starkville really showed me some good things. Here's Dykstra House over to Coleman. They're steady. Steady gets Very ball steady. over to Avery Howard. Avery getting ready to launch it, and it's blocked. Not too happy with Coach Brock with that kick by Avery. Saying she should have sent it off to the outside. All right, I like the strategy of passing to death. Yeah. All right, Seraphim. 20 minutes we talk and we give you 30 seconds. It's yeah. yours. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I was not prepared, honestly, because I don't have any sunglasses nor a hat. <laughs> I see. This, the sun is just beaming. <laughs> yes, yes. See, we're, we're seasoned veterans. We bring we'll, food and this hats. Is my first time. And, and we will give you. You give us your number. We're going to text you the things like dress code and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, you're not going to look as good as the rest of us. Okay. Oh, Howard, no. So, but right, you, the hat you can pull it off. <laughs> okay. Thank so. you. Thank you, Howard. Yes. Uh, I only brought a brought a water with me. Yeah. Good. That's all right. That's the start. Though. Nice play by Riley Coleman, forcing the ball over the middle. Look at Coleman battling away. Pops the ball up in the air, trying to get over Dykster House. Look at Coleman just getting pesky there. All oh, the outside over to Dykstra House. Dykstra House to give a go over to Howard. Howard through the middle. Dribbles through a couple oh. players. Tries to get a shot off. They're going to block it. They're going to call a foul on Howard. As it looks like Martinez will be coming in here. You know, um, Coach uh, Brock should be really happy with the way we played, except for maybe closing it out and scoring goals. We're only up one nothing. We've had a ton of opportunities. It's something that when she watches the tape, she oh, may. Oh, good made by Riley. That's going to be a corner kick. It's a corner kick? Yes, sir. All yeah, right. These, Riley Coleman will take it. Yeah. These three, four, we have four seventh and eighth graders. It's fantastic. That I know. It's the youth movement. Uh, and number six. Yeah. So, so that's, that's how you build a team. Yep. Yeah. Riley Coleman, number 24. Just taps it over to Mark Dykstra House over to Coleman oh, with a big shot. shot. Wow, oh, wow. Kick. Look, there is some chemistry between Dykstra House and Coleman, seventh grade and eighth grade. We're going to be talking about that for the next five years. You know, I think they play on one they, of the Red Bulls. Too. Well, they know where each other is going to be. They just, win a lot of games. Yep. Love to see the uh, youth movement. Somebody else who I uh, look forward to seeing come into the game is going to be Campbell Williams, uh, number 20. I forgot what number she is. Campbell's got the big left foot. Uh, she brings the many dividends, and she scored a goal against Starkville coming in late. Uh, there's, oh, here's the deepest penetration yet. 
for St. Al. And uh, Buford comes, puts his little body. Yep. Ball goes to the outside. And a Lauren Hodo finally says, hey, I get to touch the ball. By the way, I just want to say that I'm one for one in calling her by her proper name and not calling her Mary Lauren. I'm so proud of myself. Here comes Coleman. Puts oh, the ball that. over to Hodo. Hodo back to uh, uh, Coleman. Coleman tries to launch it. Has to close in a little quicker. Should learn that. Another corner. I did go in the corner to go out the side. Corner. Okay. Are you down? I mean, are you disputing my call? Or? No, I'm, the sun is getting to me. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not in this. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> this is the sixth corner kick, and now I, I literally feel so. This I've is. I've watched a little bit of soccer. Okay, thank you. Looks like Elise Howard will be taking her second corner as Ali Beck comes out. Yasmin Martinez comes in. I'll be trying to keep him from all this heat. Here is Howard. It's Howard to Howard. Let's see if it oh, happens. Howard to pick. Howard. It's going to be, oh, right over Elena, Avery's head. Yasmin yeah, Martinez with the shot. Not much of a shot there. Oh, Avery yeah. Howard. Avery Howard with the fish from Yasmin, Yasmin Martinez. Yeah. Nice. That's kind of how, that's the way you score. Yes. I was listening to Coach Brock, and she was uh, asking Elena to jump a little higher uh, <laughs> on that corner, but it worked out well where Yasmin got the ball. And uh, I don't know if she passed it or intended to pass it, or she just uh, now, took this a shot. Right, number one? Emma Beckwith. Emma Beckwith, Beckwith. coming into the contest. She uh, had a beautiful goal. I don't know if you saw the first goal she had yesterday. She drilled one yeah. from the outside. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. Emma Beckwith comes in the contest for Elise Howard. Looks like Coach Brock with a 2-0 lead, but really a big advantage offensively is going to go ahead and kind of conserve some of the energy for the second half for some of these starters. You know, she's been going, the last couple of games, she's been going 18-19 deep. It's good to see the development That's of these young girls. That's what you have girls. to do. Yep. Yasmin this over to her. Yep. Yeah, the weather's a key factor. Yep. Yasmin over to Hodo. Here comes Hodo to the outside. Oh, it was a handball there. No call. No call. That looked like a parent handball, but no call there. As Wilkie fights, it's going to be St. Al with the ball, trying to get it down. Look at Avery Howard, a nice play. Over to Avery. Avery's going to survey the field, up to the outside. Nice pass over to Hodo. Hodo goes Touchdown to the outside. Touchdown She's going to take a right shot, here. and it's a nice shot, oh. but it's deflected by the goalie. I think that was the wrong sport. Uh, uh, you said a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Why well, you got to stay stuff like that. Oh, you got to okay. keep the audience thinking, well, was this a football game or a soccer game? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Coach Brock, Coach Brock really uh, yelling, yelling about encouragement to get these girls to convert. I think that uh, the great American pos we popsicle see. ball. Hmm. Okay. Uh, corner kick to the middle. It's going to go to the side of the goal. Who scored our first goal? Uh, our first. Oh, Skeeter did, right? Uh, Addison Weems with the first dishing. I think. It was uh, Lena. It was an uh, assist from Addison. Yeah. The header. It was a, it was a, it was a nice cross header. I can't spell Elena. E? Elena. A or A. E or A, Elena. A. Elena. Okay. That's that Kruger spelling, so <laughs> he wants to refer to here. Weems coming in the contest for Hodo. Uh, as we've got about seven minutes left. Uh, I'm dehydrated, guys. Uh, uh, I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of okay. water. Here comes Skeeter to the outside. Has the ball taken away here. It is hot. Ooh. I'll send a net text and tell somebody to bring in some water. Martinez from the outside. Shot. Takes a shot. She scores. Yes. Good yes. strong goal by Yasmin Martinez. Right. And just like that, it's 3 nothing. Love to see somebody else besides the usual suspects scoring goals. Martinez. And looks like the... Uh, Looks like a lot of young girls are getting ready to come in the contest here. Let's see. We've got number 12, Amelia Dubard coming in. That's great. Is that Amelia? Yeah. Yes. yeah she's grown up. Wow. 22, Millie O'Neill getting ready to come in the contest. The coach is going in the 20s. And number 26, Murray Catherine Alderman. Alderman. Alderman getting ready to come in the contest. You got to love that last name. Yes. Oh, it goes to the outside. Martinez, she wants more. And the ball's turned over. Goes around. A little ping pong action there. St. Al cannot get any offense going. Looks like Campbell Williams will be coming to the contest. Probably that left forward position, number two, Campbell Williams, the junior. 
Do you know there's only two seniors on this team? So Howard, Yasmin Martinez, and Larkin Camp. And Abby Alderman. At, and, and Abby Beck. And Abby Senior? Mm -hmm. That's right. And Allie. And Allie. Well, we just doubled my uh, total here. The roster shows 12, 4 12. And, uh, and somebody, uh, Skylar Phillips, comes in the contest. And Skylar's had a lot of starts lately. Yeah. Um, she I think comes she switched the, up a little bit. Yeah. Out of the contest come number 14, Molly Downing, uh, 26. She's Murray, not going Murray in Murray Gather's not going in yet. Dykster House comes out. Coleman comes out. And um, and uh, also coming out will be Buford. You know what I love? You know what I love competitive spirit? Coleman came out, and she was upset. I love it. Yeah. She, she's a, uh, she's a uh, seventh grader. She's like her mama. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. Yeah. You heard the story about her mama. No. Getting uh, a lot of trouble down in Jackson a few years ago. I was at that game. Okay. She cut up, and the referees, you know, had to discipline her. And next thing you know, I tell everybody they had her chained to a light pole. What? At the at the stadium. Howard, is this information we should be disclosing on the air? I did it two years ago. I've already told it once. Okay. Well. And she got lots of text. Compliments. No text. Scholar Phillips to the outside over to Campbell oh. Williams with a beautiful shot. I'm right. telling you, that right. left foot can pay dividends. Campbell scored a goal against Starkville. And um, there's a premium on a left-footed shot. As into the contest comes Murray Catherine Alderman. Out of the contest for Pell Academy is Yasmin Martinez. And we've got about uh, four minutes left here. She took some. Y'all take care of this. I gotta get something to drink. Y'all go. I sent Catherine a text. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get one of these guys here. Yeah. All right. Um, who is fine? Skeeter Williams shoots the ball over the bar. Over the bar. Wow. She's got a good foot on it. We have about five and a half minutes left in the first period. Hello with a commanding 3 0 lead. And we have Coach Brock has substituted very heavily this first half to give these girls some break from this heat. Now she's over there kind of giving them pep talk, getting them ready to go back in after the halftime. But um, we've had goals by uh, Elena, Elena, Hodo, Yasmin Martinez, Yasmin Martinez, and uh, and uh, Howard. Ah, uh, yes. First name, um, mm. <laughs> Avery. Avery got to go. Oh. So, and we've had some great passes for these goals. They weren't yeah. individual accomplishments. There were some great assists on. Eight. Eight on goal. We just had one. Nine. It's our ninth on goal shot that we just I mean, nine had. On, on, on goal, but about 15. Okay, yeah. the goal. Yeah. It's surprising. I don't think Mr. Shrest takes notes. Uh, all these are just in his head. Well, he relies on people like you and me to make him oh. look better. <laughs> so, oh, that's like kind of what you got. Like yeah. how we're just complimenting him. Right, that's right. On this, he, li uh, he likes that. <laughs> he says stop, stop, but he really means more, and more. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. He'll just um, kick the ball out of bounds. It'll be go kick. St. Al's goal kick. About four minutes left in the first half. Suresh uh, is dehydrated for you people that are watching. He literally, I don't know that he rolled down the stairs, but he had his hands on both sides and he made it to the bottom. And now he's trying to find somebody to give him a drink of water. So all that working out he's doing is really wearing on his body. Good pass and there's that Skylar Phillips shoots the ball. Oh, it goes just wide right. How many peanuts are you on right now? I'm going to eat that whole, probably eat that whole thing if I don't slow down. Where are you putting the shells at? I'm throwing them out in the yard. Nice. No, you know, they'll deteriorate. <laughs> they probably won't even recognize it as the grass is starting to turn brown. The shades, oh, yes. the shells will blend right in. All right, say now with a goal kick. And start up the, I guess it would be the left side, intercepted by Avery Howard, over to Amelia Dubard. Amelia Dubard, and in the middle to Skeeter. Middle. 
She's going down. This Ooh. should be a skull. Oh! We got to get those her. shots adjusted. You know, you wonder if they see the goalie and they zip, their eyes get locked in on them. Ooh, good touch by um, Avery, Avery Howard. Howard. Good stop. And um, 22. Millie O'Neill steps away. Yep. Avery still has the ball. And she takes it. She's going to move down the She's middle. to Shoots take a shot. Wide. But wide right. Yes. Not the best shot, but. The center ref looks at her watch. I think she's going to be calling it here pretty soon. A little up 3 0. Now we have uh, two minutes left with the uh, stoppage time. St. Allen kicks the ball. Intercepted by Mary Catherine. Over to Skyler. Skyler uh, shoots. Takes a shot. Uh, wide right. St. Al's goalkeeper punts the ball. And no one's in the middle, but Macy Lamb's right there. Macy. Great little line. Much like her mom. And a Lauren finally gets, finally gets action. It's a good punt to a half field. And uh, as Addison gets the ball. Talon gets it out wide. To, uh, Skeeter, she puts it in the middle, and the goalie is there. I think we're taking our shots premature, Suresh. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I just bribed some kid to get me, like, three power aids. During we your party, you or I, like, we thought we saw you texting. We thought you were talking to President Trump. No, no, no. Okay, not today. No, not today. Not today. I just gave Durham your potty our twenty dollar bill. Watch, watch him give me two dollars back for three power. It's like you won't change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, throw in my pill. What did I miss? Uh, a couple of shots. Uh, yes. A couple. Yeah. A couple of long Air shots. Shots. Yeah. So, uh, up to, in my calculation, I think we've had uh, ten oh, yeah. shots on goal, but we've had sixteen shots at goal. Yeah. As we hit the half, uh, with the score three nothing, Pill Academy. Seraphine, I think this is the moment where what everybody's been waiting for. I think I'm gonna get a chance to interview Howard Alderman about Pill Academy girls sports. So if we can get Howard, Howard, can you come stand Me? right here? Yeah, you. Have to come on, come on over here. We're gonna get you on the air real quickly. Uh, Don Brock specifically requested that I interview you, so uh, <coughs> and we, we'd appreciate it if you didn't cough well, and eat I, peanuts I'm while you're on the air. Are we nervous here? Yes, folks, we've got Howard Alderman on the air here for Pell Academy Broadcasting live stream. Howard, how's it going? Good to see you. It is going great. The last two games, been, being back with you, has, has made me 10 years older. Really? Yes. Because of my presence? Because of the way you look. Okay. You know, you oh, look okay. 10 years younger, so I feel 10 years younger. Thank you. I certainly appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, anyways, Howard, so you, you've lost some weight as well? 20-something pounds. 20-something well, pounds. You, you, you must have ballooned, huh? I, got... I was up there pretty good, about 225, 226. How'd you do it? 200. Let's, let's hear how you did it. What'd you do? Well, I can't tell you how I did it. Well, because you, you've been eating nothing but junk while you've been up it, here. You know it wasn't hard work, because you see how I <laughs> Yeah, just kind of laid back. but you, Yeah. Have you been walking, exercising? What have you been oh, doing? Yeah. A little of the both. A little gotcha. of the gotcha. both. Howard, your, your daughter Abby is a senior this year. She plays uh, girls basketball. And she, thank you. She plays girls basketball and she plays. Uh, here goes. Uh, you want to, yeah, and let's switch. Let's switch real quickly. Uh, I'll take this one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so she plays girls basketball and uh, also uh, girls soccer. Any other sport? Are those two? Golf. Golf. That's great. She follows in the footsteps of a very successful older sister. Uh, Anna Catherine, who is a star not only on basketball court as but also on the uh, soccer field, some great soccer memories over here with Anna Catherine over the years. Anything that stands out in particular? Well, the one you and I talked about yesterday, you had, I think you asked me that off camera, but the bit, the memory that sticks out the most is when we were playing East Rankin in the playoffs, and we trailed the entire game. Um, we were able. We never led the entire game. We were able to score and go to overtime. And, of course, they scored first in overtime, and we scored. And then it goes to two overtimes, and then it's PKs. They go up 2-0 in PKs, and it's like it's it's over, you know. State it's, state semifinals, 2015. Yeah. First ever broadcast, yeah. live stream broadcast of any kind for Pill Academy. Continue. And, 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 you know, like it's like, well, 
and they had Bailey uh, Thompson coming up for the third shot. Yep. And she pulled it. Yep. And then um, Abby Bailey makes a big shot. And then they miss another one. And Anna Catherine makes a big shot. And they miss another one. And Catherine Grace Larry makes the third in a row for us to win 3-2. Yep. To me, that was the most memorable of all soccer of my dog, my, and Anna Catherine's. I mean, right. there were probably some others, but I just never, that one's always stuck out as like the, probably the best victory that they have. Well, uh, I know the year after Anna Catherine graduated was the year that we played. We finally, after three straight state championship losses to Lamar, we finally, finally made it to the state championship game. And for me, the most memorable game was that particular state championship game. Don and I call that game. It was uh, maybe the greatest sporting event I've ever seen at Pill Academy when Pill Academy defeated Hartfield in a 11-round uh, PK shootout uh, to win a state championship uh, for the third time. Uh, that was literally the following year after losing three straight years to Lamar. Who will ever forget that contest with Hartfield? Oh, gosh. I mean... Were you at that game? I was not at that game. I called. I didn't get to watch. I called Greg Jones. He said, oh, my God, you're not going to believe yeah. what just happened. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, no, yeah. we lost. Yeah. Then he said, we won. And Jane Robb's final stop. Phenomenal. I, I've seen it over and over on Facebook. It's like she was so dominant. Yeah, she was. As a well, goalie. And I begged her for years before she came back out. I literally begged her. I think you were the one that kind of convinced yeah. her to come back to play soccer. I begged her and begged her and begged her. And she finally came back. Yeah. And she was an awesome goalie. A quick story about that. After that game where Jane Robb was just all world, uh, a, a JA coach, they were getting ready to play prep. A JA coach walked up to me and said, uh, hey, what division program is she playing at next year? I said, she's going to be a student playing, playing, uh, you know, just, just regular uh, sports at uh, Ole Miss. I mean, she's yeah. not going to be playing basketball or soccer. They thought she was a D1 goalie. That's what I mean, they literally. Thought. She was. She was. That was an awesome performance. And 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 other members of that game. I mean, uh, the pass from uh, uh, Madeline Kelly to uh, forward Caroline Brock, who hadn't played beast. forward the whole the beast, uh, who hadn't played forward the whole year, and she scored the goal. Um, Claire Coleman playing defense, man marking the player the entire game. She hadn't played defense the entire year. It was just one of those special contests that'll live in folklore forever. First championship in years in over a decade in Pill Academy, and they followed it up. Three years later, with the championship yeah. last year, which yeah. was really special, and so. that was a down to the wire overtime game sure. that could have gone either way, yeah. and we were fortunate to be on the top side yeah. when it was over. You're right. You're it was right. that yeah. tight of a game. We've had some great memories. We've also had some tough memories over the yeah. years. Those three straight losses to yeah. Lamar by one goal. Who could yeah. forget those? Yeah. The shocking defeat to Starkville the year oh, after winning God. a state championship when we outshot them 12 and one, and we yeah. lost one nothing. Right here. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, great, great memories. You know. But uh, it is. It's, this program has come so far. This soccer program, you know, we've the the uh, people have put up lights and yeah. you know, there've been a lot of contributions that people have made yep. to this program that yep. otherwise, you know, it may not be what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, over the years, Lamar was our arch rival. Then for a couple of years, it was Hart three years it was Hartfield. Now it appears that our arch rival is Bio Academy yes. in Cleveland, They're Mississippi. They're up and coming. They are uh, really up and coming and. Uh, Looking forward to that contest whenever it is scheduled. I mean, I they, they beat us. Yeah. They beat us fair and square yep. in Cleveland. And uh, you don't think that these uh, Pillow Academy Lady Mustangs are thinking about it? And we've got to beat them here. we got to beat them, and uh, we got to circle the date. We just don't yeah. have a date yet, from what yeah. I understand. Do we have a date? I think we do. I just haven't looked yet. I've been too busy eating peanuts. <laughs> but I'm getting ready to, to see if I can find that for gotcha. you. Gotcha. So you can announce it on the air. You know what? As I see Matt Howard walking over here, I think to myself, boy, we could have had him at halftime. He is a fun interview. Oh we'll God. do that the next game. We'll have yeah. Matt Howard at the half, okay? He's, he, you know, I don't want to follow him. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're glad well, to get I got to go first. Yes, absolutely. He is a hoot. He is. 3 nothing. Pill Academy. The shots are – let's get the action back on the screen. The shots are 9 nothing. Pillow Academy. Oh, thank you. Oh, Durham Beer brought my change. That's great. The shots are 9 nothing, and uh, we've got 16 shots at the goal, 9 on goal. The keepers made 6 saves, but Pillow Cabin with a dominating 3 nothing lead. The uh, corner kicks are 6 nothing, and uh, where it counts most, it is 3 nothing Pillow Academy. Guys, I got a text. I'm going to have to leave in just a minute, and I'm going to hand the, hand the broadcast off to Serafin and Howard. We'll be back on the air. We don't know when. Uh, hopefully next week sometime. 
But um, let's see about that. Are you leaving? I'm going to have to leave. That's why I was getting a text message. I got a situation I got to take care of. My wife and kids are all out of state, and I got to go take care of something in the neighborhood real quick. Well, let me let me see if we can get this. Uh, are we about to have a PK here? I, I didn't see what happened here. No, it's right outside the box. Right outside the box. Are we on? Yeah, we are. Yes. Yeah, you can barely see. It's pretty far out, but we can't zoom in. Avery Howard's going to plant one to the side. Takes a shot. And oh, a shot. Avery Howard. Six of hands up here. Uh, I don't know. Player? Avery's going to claim that it was a clean shot. It didn't bounce off anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they hit one of their players. I think it did. Yeah. I think it did. Avery it's Howard, the, the junior spectacular athlete in track and basketball and soccer with a goal. And just like that, it's 4 nothing. Before I leave, Howard, looking forward to uh, you kind of helping us out occasionally with the uh, you need to put more shirt. No, uh, just the roster. Roster. You can have the roster. You can take that I'll one take right the there. Bottom. Oh. Go ahead, just take that sheet. Uh, take that sheet right there. Right. Take that one right there. Looking forward to you helping out with some broadcasts this year, and uh, should be a lot of fun. Four nothing. I'm going to hand the broadcast off to you two and have fun with it, guys. All right, all right. Take care. You go take care of your business. We can handle this for now. After listening to you, we know what to do. Obviously, we uh, don't have the anything to go take care of, so we're going to call the rest of the ballgame for you. Hello, Avery Howard moves down the field. Makes a pass to Elena Hode. Elena is going down the right and side. And Elise is in the middle. Oh, it's going to be a corner kick. She had good, uh, like I said, Elise and Skeeter coming up, following the shot. So we were in good position, but it's going to be a corner kick for the Mustangs. Well, I'm so glad he got us these. Oh, same. Rigs. Yeah. And they're cold. So. They are cold. Man, what, what is this? All right, so Yasmin Martinez will take the kick. Places it right in the middle, yeah. and it's off a St. Al defender. But hurriedly, Elise Howard possesses the ball over to Skeeter, but uh, yep, she still has it. She's going to try to make a pass, but it goes off a St. Al player into Elena. Who is that? As Elena. Ooh. Shoots the ball across the Crosses middle. it in to Addison. Addison wings and the goalie's there to so pick it, scoop it up. So St. Al will pump the ball. It will be taken by Mary Austin. Now she's a little pesky thing in the middle. Uh, we got a handball on, on Macy Lamb in a boat. Yep. Handball. Just as much. So St. Al will place the ball down and Abby Alderman is going to check in for Mary Austin. Give her a little break. Great up and coming player for the Mustangs. And now places the ball down. And, and oh, oh, good. Um, Buford clears the ball to the outside. Thank goodness. Here comes Allie back up to Elena Hodo. Elena Hodo. Hodo's. Elena has green. Evaluating the field. She's going to go past take it the with defender. Her, with her speed. She's going to go up the side and still has the ball. Still has it. She's going to cross it to. To Elise, almost, but uh, Abby Alderman is going to drop the ball down, and shot. not a good, uh, not a good shot. Don't get it to a player. Howard, that like you exactly. Or Catherine. Catherine would have been a better word. <clears throat> uh, Jane Buford. She is a physical player. Really, I'm looking forward to watching her. She's back to Allie Bet. And Allie to. Trust to get it to uh, Abby. Abby. Jane lets the ball go out. She puts it up the sideline to Elena Hode. She passes it to Abby Alderman. Abby to. Trust to get it off. I'm going to go out of no. <laughs> Well. No, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs>
Catherine Alderman graciously brought water to the uh, press box. You want to step and visit her? No. Okay. Maggie Farmer is stuffing her mouth with popcorn down at the bottom. So, thank you, ladies, for uh, keeping thank us you. from dehydrating. Okay, back to the game. Abby Alderman shoots the ball down the middle. Looks like it kind of went off of one of the players' arms. But Avery. Call Avery Avery's going to take it. She's going to take a shot. Big shot, and it's Water wide right. right. Good gracious. What are we going to do with all these drinks? And can we get through? I don't know. I'm just uh, kind of glad that uh, we don't have the sun in our eyes anymore. Me too. Me too. So we're just looking one way now. So now we'll place, come in on a um, kick, and the ball is going to be intercepted by Ali Beck. She's going to pass it over to Avery Howard, Avery Howard, Abby Alderman, to back to Elena. But Elena gets short step, and Abby Alderman is going to throw it over to Avery Howard. Avery down to that Skeeter. Avery. Oh, great to pass Elena. to Elena. Elena can get it try to cross it. And it's going to be go out of bounds. Okay. Almost. Almost. She should, she should have just cut it back one time and yeah. uh, just crossed it outside of the right, right foot, maybe. Give it a little uh, curve on the ball. And as Say Now kicks it, Allie Beck's in pursuit. And Say Now tries to uh, get it up the field to one of their teammates, but uh, Abby has it. Abby passes it to Elena. Elena controls it, passes it back to Abby. Abby back to Elena. Elena crosses it. Say Now gets in front of it. And uh, Say Now gets the ball, dishes it out to the wing. Uh, the wing hits it up. <coughs> and Jane Kimball gets in front of it. And Abby has the ball now. Say now tries to hit it up, and now it just rolls out of bounds. So it will be pill of ball, James Kimmel Buford will inbound the ball. That'll be back to Jane Kimmel. Big kick down the middle, looking for Elena. Elena tries to get in position, she does. Oh, and she breaks through, she's got a, ooh, she's got a runner. Good cut. Oh, wow, that was a good, good. Good pass, uh, just a little short. Elena, way to go with uh, splitting the defense. Walking Kemp chested that ball down, and I think uh, it went out of bounds, and it's going to be St. Al ball. They'll inbound the pass, and Abby Onerman gets put on it. Uh, that's As Macy, Macy gets ahead on it, Abby takes the Abby's ball. in pursuit. Oh, yeah, a little collision. So now we'll keep the ball. Avery Howard's coming down, and we've got Jane she Kimmel can. making a run for it. She's going to keep it deep and goes out of bounds, and that's her defense get positioned. About 30, 31 minutes left in the game. It is 4-0. I won't be surprised if uh, Coach Mary Claire puts in uh, some subs. Here soon. If these girls get a well-deserved rest. i got to look to see when that game is rescheduled so I can let Suresh know. But it has been scheduled. The ball game? With bio. I think I saw an email. Good pass from, oh, uh, they're going to call her offsides. I did not see that. This should be a goal. Is right the ball? No. Keeper makes a good stop. We've got to get these, we've got to hit these corners. In my opinion. Oh, good cut by Avery. Avery shoots it. Yes. And it goes in. Avery Howard with the fifth goal for the Mustangs. About that game, I don't know if it's going to be uh, rescheduled yet. I heard that it was going to reschedule for Monday to take place from Washington, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, I know I have an email. I can find it. 
You know, I'm getting to the age where maybe I thought I had an email. Say now kicks off. And the mid dishes it up to, tries to get it up to the wing as Yasmin's there. And Larkin. Oh, the camp with the... Wow, I didn't see that. <laughs> Say now takes the kick. Oh, big kick. Great stop. I think we have an all-conference going. Yes. I really do. Yes. As uh, Lauren punts it, St. now gets to the end of it. The wing tries to get through. She has no teammates. And Larkin is there just to clean it up. As uh, Addison goes up the wing. <coughs> well, I don't have it. Maybe I made that up. Yeah, I don't know if they rescheduled it. I, I heard that we had a planned date, but uh, Bio didn't uh, respond to anything. The, the coach didn't, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, as, as Avery just yanks her down by her shirt. The opposing coach is asking for a yellow card. Uh, but in the rules that... uh just a tugging on a shirt that isn't a yellow card it's just a foul so better stop <clears throat> as elena takes it down the wing and it gets poked out of bounds by saying yeah i've been very impressed with the long play in the goal very impressive. Oh, yes. Very attentive and makes great um, decisions. And I've been just, she's really played well. And as number seven, EDM Mitchell, and number 12, I believe, Amelia Dubard comes in to play. Ellie Beck crosses it to EDN. EDN dishes it back to. Elise Howard. Elise tries to get it over to Avery. Avery wins the ball. Skater on the outside. She's going to get it to her. Get the Addison. Going, oh, this good should touch. be a good chance. Yes! And there's another goal. <coughs> Addison Williams. 6-0. With a great cross. That's what you got to do. You got to hit that opposite club. It was a good playmaking and uh, good chemistry by the team as uh, Campbell Williams comes into play. And... Uh, Two more goals, and we'll have a, um, a mercy rule. Oh. Very well. We could get there. Molly comes in for Buford, and Weems and Martinez coming out. Uh, Campbell and who else? Coming in. We got some fresh legs in there. Tic Toe Pillow. And Skylar Phillips went in. Okay, good. Molly Downing knocks that ball out off the offender. I mean, away from the offender, so we get to set up our defense. I hope uh, Kay Downing, granddaughter, grandmother of Molly Downing is watching this game, live stream. I feel certain she is. Kind of flips over to Campbell. Campbell. Campbell has speed. She can She's easily moving up. take We've it from the wing. got in the middle. And she passes to Edian. Edian. And just a little bit off. Amelia uh, Dubard is there. Amelia Dubard. Fighting for the ball. It's going to go out on Mustangs. Been a, been a pretty nice afternoon 
the weather's not been awful, you know. It's yeah. warm, but I've seen warmer. So I guess that's what I'm saying. Lena Hodo makes a charge for the ball. Uh, Avery Howard puts it down the middle for sister Elise. And Lisa's going down the right side. Oh! That's going to be on... Uh, that's going to be on Elise. On Elise. And... No card. She just gets a warning. Yeah. gets a yellow card for some, I mean number 11. St. L player gets a yellow for some reason, I'm not sure why. I was not watching. I was I stretching she said a little something bit. to the referee. I was stretching a little bit because Coach Chris had us in a, an amazing leg workout today. That's He's good. Me. I'll tell you, it's great to have him back here at Pro Academy. Oh yeah. Chris Wilson, a strength master. Um, strength master that likes just in pain. Bodily pain on these athletes. He pushes them to the max. Which is good. Which is good. And uh, he even told me that he looks like Chris Hemsworth. Which, uh, oh. uh Thor. I don't know. Traveling with it. Sits it over to uh, Skyler. Skyler Phillips. Skyler's trying to get it. Skyler's over. looking down. Taking away, and Elena is going to fight for that ball, and she's going to get back. She's going to send it out to Allie back. Allie's going to cross the ball <coughs> all the way over to Dubar. Dubar down to EDN. Trying to get to EDN, and his kick back. And Molly down with a great chest play. Molly is a seventh grader, right? I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, Campbell Williams with the ball. Trying to get it to EDN. Had about 22 minutes left in this contest. 6 0 lead, Mustang. And Macy Lamb gets to the ball. This is it over to Elise Howard. Elise is. And she has plenty of green. To Elena Howard. That's what we need. Pass and pass and pass. A defender cannot, cannot outrun a pass. It. Oh, right. Good cross. Right. Oh. Campbell gets there. She doesn't. She got a body on it. That was a great, great cross. It was. That could have been number seven very easily. Oh. You know, Macy Lamb Macy gets Lamb there. Good a touch. Great stop. Into uh, Avery. To Elise. Avery Elise. To to tries to get the EDN. EDN. And as. Holly Beck's going to get this one. Going to pass it in the middle to Elise. Elise is going to go back to. Well, and she keeps yeah. it. Going to turn it and go the other way. That's a good play. And uh, as Elena get, gets ahead on it, Elise tries to shoot it. Straighten the keeper's hands. Ball goes up the left side. And intercepted by St. Al and Molly Downing coming in. And she's going to take that ball. Number 10, Avery Howard. Avery's going to go over the top. She's got Elena and she's got um, EDN. EDN and it's going to be out. That would be oh. oh. I saw that ball touch. Yeah, that ball touched that player too, but they're going to give it to St. Al. Should have been a goal, but well, a corner kick, I thought. But what do I know? And that would be water break. I'm just a commentator. Same. Yeah. I cannot officiate these games. I didn't write the rules, I just dispute them. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. That's right. Mustangs come off a well-deserved water break. I think we were 4 row at half, now we're 6 out. Yes, sir. So we have uh, increased our lead by two. 
one more and we'll have a touchdown. <laughs> right? Yes, sir, we will. We'll have a touchdown. We'll have a touchdown. It's seven nothing. Lauren, make sure to trot over from the goal. Do we have a backup goal? Did you know that? I know that Campbell plays Campbell goal. Campbell plays goal? Okay. I don't think so she's does, in. Um, uh, gosh. Mm, man. I don't think Campbell enjoys it, but she does play goal. Um, it's going to come to me in a minute. Um, our sister put was a senior last year. Who, uh, self? Yes. Horny and... Mom's, name. what's the mom's first name? I'm not sure. Uh, Horny self's daughter plays the other day. I saw her playing yesterday. Um... See, when you get older, you can't remember stuff. Let's see. If I can jog my memory. Well, Kimberly Self. That's where it is. It finally came to me. And I didn't have to look it up. Yeah, did you look it up? No, I didn't have her on my phone. <laughs> I don't have her phone anymore. Um, but Kimberly and Marty Self's daughter. And she's got some height on her, too. I noticed that when uh, she was playing uh, in the goal yesterday, two days ago at Strong. So, we do have her. So we have two players that are walking. I guess they're done for the game. I'm um, guessing. <coughs> Six and I can't tell who the other one is. I think that is Jane Kimmel and Macy. They probably have another sport or softball. activity to do. Maybe softball or cheer? Probably cheer. Yeah. Because uh, this game is pretty much done. We don't have football tonight, do we here? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Football is away at Bio. Okay. okay. Today? Yes, sir. Okay. And tomorrow, football will be at home uh, against Hartfield. And next week, uh, we had an open um, an open week. We had a bye week next week, but now we have scheduled it for East Rankin. I saw that. But it's going to be at East Rankin. It's a little trot, too. About two and a half hours. Yes, sir. And uh, on Saturday, we finally have college football coming back. That's right. Which you I am know, very happy about. East Rankin is so far back in the sticks, they have to pump daylight in there. That's how far it is. What? They have to pump daylight in there. You know, that's how far back in the sticks it is. It's so far, you can't get there from here. That's how far it is. <laughs> so, you gotta remember that. I'll keep that. Yeah. It's a good program down there, though. We've battled them in soccer and basketball for years on the girls' side. So, so it'll be should be a good game. They've had they've had a good uh, success in boys football, best I remember. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. Um, all I know is we never played them in uh, boys soccer, so I don't know how they are. Oh, as Elise kicks it and it's wide. Kicks it, and then give it a goal kick. I don't guess the goal and touch it. of youth on this team. I'm going to be very excited for what's to come. Yes, sir. We have a lot of 8th uh, graders to step up and uh, play with this varsity team. So This will be a very good team again next year. I it will be, yes, sir. you got four seniors. Um, the youth movement is definitely going to fill the spots. Yes, sir. As this uh, breeze kicks in and cloud starts to uh, come in, it feels very nice right now. As the lease goes up. Oh, uh, that wasn't. Oh wow! I thought it was shoulder to shoulder, but having somebody dribbling get but, a foul. <laughs> that's that's kind of hard. Now, unless she threw an elbow, I didn't. I wasn't watching that closely. But uh, I was excited that we were fixing to have an opportunity. Yes, sir. As uh, Yasmin dishes it up to uh, Elena. Elena's gonna put the brakes on. Yep. We'll cross it in the middle to good pull back Yasmin. to Yasmin. Yasmin's gonna send it back to her. She's gonna send it over here to 22. No, yes, 
to uh, Millie Claire O'Neill. Yep. She's going to put it in the middle. Gonna yeah, go outside to number get, two. And it's going to get Campbell, but out of reach. Out of reach. Fourteen minutes left. Six zero pillow. Uh, Emma Beckwith gets ready to check in the game. That strong right foot and drill it in from anywhere. And she showed Tuesday night at Starkville Academy. As seen now, Molly Downing puts the ball up to Campbell, and we're going to get. Over, get taken away, but I guarantee you we're going to get right back. And yep. correct. That's the Avery that's. going to send it down to Elena. And Elena, and the ball's going to get out of bounds. It's going to be. Lady Mustang throwing. Yep. As um, Coach oh, Mary Claire okay. puts back, um, puts Avery back at back line just to secure. The back line some more. Sure, no comeback. Maybe she doesn't want to score at all. Probably. Which I don't. Riley Coleman is fighting for the ball. Molly Downing. Molly's had a bunch of touches this game. Puts a little right elbow out there. Is she has like her daddy. It's like one of her daddy's moves. It's back in the now. 90s. As she takes the throw in, tries to throw it up to. Uh, all right. Camel, the ball is going to go to bounds. It's going to be Mustang ball. Camel is going to inbound it over to Elise Howard. Elise is going to survey the field. She's going to do a little stutter step, get back to Campbell. Got an uh, offside on the Mustang. Ball in play, and Campbell's going to get it, and she's going to send it up, and it's going to go off and eat uh, St. Al player. And Riley Coleman is up the field. She comes. Big she, shot! Wow, what a foot that young lady's got. Mercy. You know her mother played college soccer. I didn't know that. I know of all the trouble she gets into as far as on the sidelines at the games. She was a good soccer player. Oh, uh, where was it at uh, Valley? At Valley, I'm not yes. mistaken. Came here from, uh, I heard she came here from Canada. I'm not sure. I didn't hear that. We'll have to get her over here in the booth at some point. She and her sidekick, uh, Catherine uh, Dykstra House. Most definitely. They are kind of deceiving. You think they're, you know, really nice. And then poor referees, you know, can't catch a break one. <laughs> Look at Riley move that ball around. She's got some good footwork. Amelia gets it back to Riley, and she great it pass. <clears throat> oh, oh, here, good touch. Take the shot. Yep. She set up, loaded the boot, but hit it right to the goalie. But <coughs> Mary Austin with the stop. Emma Beckwith coming down. She passes it all across the middle. Let's get a And here we go. Yes, and this is going to be a score by Elise Howard. She got behind the goalie. One, one touch, and it's in there, 7-0 Mustang. In comes um, Mary Lane Dexter House. Coming out is going to be Campbell Williams. In comes Abby Alderman. Coming back out, Mary Austin. Uh, ten minutes left in the contest as Mustangs are up 7-0. One more goal, and uh, the game will end early, which is uh, very possible. Yes, I tell you, these little girls are hungry for their chance to put the ball in the back of the net. Yes, sir. And then uh, I was at the game, uh, their first ever game against Bio this year. And uh, I think that we played them a little bit too early. But uh, now I really do think that we can, uh, that we can beat them. 
And, uh, Emma, Emma Beckwith up the sideline. Got Elise Howard trailing. She is, oh, that's good. Should be out on. Yes. Well, I was at that game as well. And uh, rain, the rain kind of neutralized the game. Yes, sir. And they got, they scored on a corner kick and the unknown goal by us. And we scored. And we had a couple other opportunities to score. So it was, it was a very evenly played game that day. They won fair and square. And we're out for revenge. We are. I mean, they beat us. We just got to play harder than them next time. Fun fact, um, every time I go to bio, it's either a football game or a, or a soccer game. It always it always rains there. Oh, my goodness. I've been over there in some other rainstorms, too. I've never been to bio with a, with, on a sunny day. Well, I will say this. First time I ever went, I think it was 175 degrees. Oh. So, I've been over there one time. Ooh, it was so hot. Can't say the same. But I've been to a lot of rain fests. As a say now, punts it. Molly down and gets right in position, right where she's supposed to be. And Minnie Dubar gets in there. Abby Alderman is fighting for the ball, sends it back to one of her teammates, Abby Yasmin. Back to Yasmin. These two seventh and eighth graders are really putting the pressure on number two for St. L. And um, that is. They forced her out of bounds there. They cut off her lane and. Um, that Neely O'Neill throwing them all inbound ball. Yes, sir. They cut off her lane and she only had one way to go. And uh, the ball went out, so that was a good play. Yeah, Dubar checks out. For Larkin Camp, that comes back in. Down and get your foot on the ball. Deflects it out to the to the left and on goal shot and it, they get a shot, but it's over the back of the side of the goal. I don't know if it was really on goal. Seven minutes to go in the contest. Mustangs with a commanding 7-0 lead. Somebody said we don't play next week. For what sport? Soccer? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not either. I know that we might not play on Monday. Yes, I think we're definitely not playing Monday. But I don't know about the rest of the week. Abby gets the ball, sends it up to Yasmin. Cut off. Molly down with the foot. And O'Neill puts it over to the left. Um, to, uh, Murray, Catherine, Alderman. Is that Dykstra House going up that side? Riley with uh, fighting for the ball. Abby Alderman gets put on it, pass it to Murray, Catherine. Mur Abby back to, trying to get through the middle of the Dykstra House. It did not make it. Molly Downing touching the ball over and over. They've got a breakaway. Let's see what we can do. Oh, what a stop. Oh, my goodness. What a stop by our all-star goalie. Mercy. Stuck that arm out and stopped it at the last second. Over to uh, Beckwith. Beckwith in the middle. Yasmin and Abby Alderman is going to... Send it to Avery, Avery Howard, Avery Howard to Yasmin. We got one on the side and we're gonna get it to her. This should be a oh, oh. didn't get what she wanted on it, I don't think. So say now kicks it down the middle. Lauren went there for the easy stop that time. I think she would rather have the other. It goes out of bounds. It'll be St. Al Ball. St. Al Ball. 
Look at Skylar and um, Addison coming back in the game. Mary Catherine with a foot on it. And Molly down there is going to chase it down. And it'll be out on Pillow. So it'll be a corner kick for St. Al. And the 12 is going to come over to take that kick. Lise Howard is also checking back in. And Elena Hodo. And Addison Weems and Skylar Phillips. So maybe Coach is wanting to get one more goal. Stop the song. Yes, sir. <coughs> As there is four minutes left in play. As say now it crosses the ball. But it's behind the goal. I gotta get all my snacks. Um, ready to leave. You didn't even eat the bars. No, you know, I brought those for my daughter. Oh. She didn't eat them, so I'll take them back home and get them back firm again. I'll eat them tomorrow. We got a host of Mustangs in and out. So the ball comes in. Elena Hodo is going to make an effort to get it. She will take it away and up the sideline. She comes. She's going to put it in play to Addison Williams and Elise Howard is headed toward the goal. Addison cuts to the middle. We got a cross great cross if we can get it. Oh! Wow. Just didn't quite didn't have everybody make it to the spot, but that was a great, great series of uh, passes and attempts. Great stop by Logan Kent. Skylar Phillips. We're going to send it over to Skeeter. Addison. Elena Hodo is going to send it to Elise. Elise outside to Elena. Elena. Elena takes a shot. Oh! And it's a It'll corner a Corner kick. for the Mustangs. Well, we can put it away right here. We've been getting pretty good position on our corner kicks, if you've noticed this year. Uh, yes, sir. Some good placement on the ball. Yeah, we have some... Uh, some good kickers they can uh, actually put it up in the air and uh, in the correct spot so mm. stop by the keeper Elise Howard intercepts the ball she's got takes a oh. shot goes wide left wide left wide left getting close. There's no way to recap who all scored goals, but we've had a host of Mustangs scoring today. I think Avery has like three under her belt. Yeah, and Addison maybe one or two. Lisa is um, passes it to Addison. Addison, Addison. Addison shoots. Right. Good shot, just a little while. That was a good, good attempt. As there's less than a minute left in the contest with extra time. And uh, the Lady Mustangs, they've been, uh, they've been improving over the uh, over the weeks with their chemistry. Yes, they're getting better and better and playing more and more players. I really like that. Because it gives people rest in this heat. And, yes, sir. Um, and you've got great, strong subs coming in. You don't really fall off. That's the key to substitutions. And the uh, and the subs give it their all for like five, ten minutes. They get a break. Starters come back in. They give it their all for five, ten minutes, and they put the subs back in. So that's a that's a pretty good rotation that uh, any coach can ask for. That's right. Ball's going to go out. And uh, we're trying to play hard. We're trying to play hurry up. Trying to get the uh, the eighth goal. Avery gets it. She shoots it. Oh, water right. Wow. Once again. That was close. It was. 
And uh, we have, I'm guessing this is going to be the last corner kick until the, uh, the whistle blows. I agree. I think this is all but the last play of the game right here. She's putting the chicken a watch. She's probably ready for supper. <laughs> Got the whistle in her hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's the ball, that's game, the ball game. Mustangs are going to take a 7 0 victory over St. Al, and it was a great effort by the Mustangs. Everybody played and contributed to lots of minutes. Um, not sure who we play next. Uh, not sure. Going to have to look at the schedule. This uh, has uh, this is the uh, their second conference game of the year. So Resh took the schedule with him. So. <laughs> He was off to catch an airplane somewhere. That's all he told us. Washington, D.C., that's what I'm thinking. What do you think? Uh, I think so. Mm. I think, uh, a lot of political ties. Yes, sir. I'm I sure think, he's uh, on his way to Washington, if I had to guess. Meet uh, some famous celebrities, maybe? Yes. Uh, Probably get coffee with them, I mean. Yes, exactly. So. Got to be glad we can say we're in the booth with him. You're not yeah. wrong. I was yeah. in the same presence. Exactly. So. Congratulations to both teams on a hard fought effort. Uh, until next time, uh, go Mustangs.